Hi, I'm Natalie Billingham, Akamai Samia MD and Vice President of Sales for EMEA. And welcome to this edition of You're On Mute. Today, I'm incredibly fortunate to be joined by Carolyn Dawson. Carolyn is Informer Tech's Managing Director for Industry Verticals and ESG, or Environmental, Social and Governance. Carolyn has been running Informer Tech's Tech Week in London for the past four years and now is spearheading expansion into Africa and Asia. Carolyn also runs a joint venture together with the Founders Forum and sits on their board. Welcome, Carolyn. Today, we're going to discuss how a company's ESG strategy can boost employee performance, attract talent, and is instrumental in retaining a competitive advantage. So, What does being a socially responsible business mean and how are some of the ways that this can be achieved? So I think there are many different facets to this, but I think it's about a company being sustainable and to make sure that it's looking at good, inclusive growth. And I think there are really three core dimensions. If they're client facing, it's ultimately how they're operating and and what they're offering to their customers in a sustainable way. It's also their own processes and the organization and how it's run and thinking through the sustainability of those processes. And probably the most important factor is employees and employees engagement around the initiatives that are being undertaken. And I think all too often, a company will look at it from a perspective of as an afterthought or a separate strategy to add on. And really it needs to be embedded in the everyday operations in all those three areas of an organization to be ultimately successful and to be purposeful. That makes complete sense. And there's a lot of discussion as well at the moment about the changing workforce and you know, millennials and Gen Z. I think they currently make up around 52%, but by 2029 will be around 72%. You know, given that shift. How important is it to have an ESG strategy to help attract and retain talent? I I think it's critical. It's absolutely fundamental because there is no doubt that the next generation don't just want to turn up to work for work's sake. They want to feel like they're making a difference, that they are valued and that they are adding value. And that really means that they are looking to a company's purpose and how they can achieve that in their professional professional lives and capacity. So I think it's really important for an organization to therefore think that through because having more engaged, more attached employees will only lead to better collaboration and teamwork and productivity, which will ultimately drive better business overall. So I think those aspects are really critical. And it's not only, I think, in what the company does from a day-to-day perspective, but it's also what it offers its employees. And especially post-pandemic, we are thinking far more about well-being. So volunteer days have been around for a little while, but it's also thinking through charitable partnerships and collaboration that might be done, but especially through the employee lens. That Yeah, and I love that bit about sort of the partnership element and how it can, you know, really uh, enrich things. And so if a company has an ESG, ESG strategy and is executing it well, you know, how do you think the performance of that really will continue to uh, impact workforce sentiment and also job satisfaction over time? Yeah, I think it's, um, I think there are many steps about how, those aspects already improved. But I think if I if I give you an example of something we've looked at, certainly within our organisation, is that we are there to provide business information to communities and to drive the tech sector forward and to help those companies in our communities grow. We also then looked at it in the lens of how do you align what our business is to potentially also purpose and more purpose that employees would feel more engaged or feel what they were adding more value to. And so for us, the tech sector can't grow unless we're looking at trying to help fill the vacancies and gaps that there are in the sector by, I think, encouraging reskilling across the world, but also looking at how we can encourage school children to see STEM and to see tech as a great future career path. And one of the ways that we looked at that was working with the government to look at how we can use our communities and our products and our platforms to promote that and to promote those offerings and ability to come into the tech sector and get retrained and reskilled. We offered access for academics and school children to our information for free. 
for our employees, it means that they are not only doing their jobs, but they're also now fulfilling something in, uh, that has purpose to it in terms of aligning, giving back to their communities and to the sector that they're serving every day. And that's great to hear that sort of virtuous circle of doing the work and giving back, you know, really leading to satisfaction. And so I read, I read in a, uh, a company ESG strategy about, you know, doing good and doing well, being entwined. And I think, Carolyn, you've put some really fantastic thoughts into people's minds there about how an ESG strategy can really become meaningful uh, in its execution and, and help all of our teams. So I can't thank you enough for spending time with us uh, to walk us through all of that. And hopefully for you that have listened today, you know, that will have fired you up as well. So please do feel free to, if you've enjoyed this, share it, like it. And of course, unmute yourself and join the conversation. Thank you.